Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to demonstrate the multiple skirt razor um, for the skirt as I'm wearing now, for uh, that is the lace low back evening gown that has a complex skirt that is um, made up in four layers. As you can see, you have the solid uh, skirt underneath, then you have a back train that makes it a bit longer in the back, then you have the voile skirt and you have the ruffle uh, here, the angled short skirt on top. Well, that skirt is made with a multiple skirt dresser that I'm going to demonstrate to you today. So let me open my inventory and let me search for the multiple skirt dresser. Here you will find it <coughs> and you see in your inventory that it has a, a, a complex prim. It's not like this is uh, an unbroken one. This is like a bit broken up, which usually means it uh, um, is more than one prim and they are not linked. Uh, when you are going to res an object like this, uh, an unlinked object, object, you do that the most easy to by going into edit mode, edit anything, I don't care, and in your edit mode, with the screen open, you drag your multiple object to the floor. And you see that you have selected it right away and you can because they are four different items, you can put them all together uh, where you want to have them. Let's have a look at the multiple skirt dresser. As you can see, it has four layers. Layer A, B, C and D. Uh, for every skirt, one layer. In every skirt needs to be one prim. And that is exactly what we are going to do now. We're going to build a prim. Now we hold the shift key and drag the prim by the arrows and that way we create four prims. One for every skirt layer. There. We open the first one. Go to the content tab, tab and look for the um, for the panel maker. We start with the long skirt because we can see on the box that the generator A is for the long skirt. So, okay, we go here and find the script for the long skirt. We drag it in the prim and there is our panel for the long skirt. This one is not uh, texturized correct because this is the white one and I want the blue one because I'm going to wear it for the blue or my blue dress. So I'm going to have a look at the texture that I need for the long skirt and I want the blue one. I drag that one to the texture tab and there it is. Now that's number one. I do the same with the B skirt. Go to the content tab, find the back train because it says generator B is for the back train so I search for the back train script. I put it in and I see in text here apply the same texture as you use for the long skirt and when you're done pick it up and drop it in generator B. Okay, well let me texture it the same way as I have the long skirt. There, select. Done. That is the back train. Over to number three is the voile skirt. The script for the voile skirt. Here it is. Now the text says drag another texture only to both long sides of the prim, the small stack uh, rims stay clear. I will have to look for the net texture. Here it is, uh, blue. I can drag it to one side and I can drag it to the other side. That way it is blue. Nice. And the last prim is prim number D is for the short angled skirt. 
and that is the upper skirt. Okay, I made four panels now. The next step is collect them in my inventory. There I go. And now I see they have a, a, a letter indicator object A, object B, C and D, so they're not all called object. Now I go to my uh, generator and I open the lowest layer, the layer A, go to the content and here it says skirt maker long skirt needs object A. So what I'm doing is I drag object A in the skirt reza. I do the same for B and for D. This simple. Close it and now I can click all four. I get two times a request for permissions and now I'm going to lean back it says that it is working and that I should get coffee instead, so maybe that is what I should do. And the skirt is ready. Let's have a closer look at the skirt. You can see all four layers have been rezzed and there is this little ball on top. Well. Because this is such a complex skirt, that little ball can be very handy adjusting it to your uh, to your body. Now we have to link all the items. I select one uh, panel and now drag a square around the skirt. You can see that that little ball on top is not included in that in that square that I made because holding the shift. I select that one as the last. Then I go to Tools and Link or I do Control Link or Command Link. All you have to do is make that root prim a bit lower. So we click Edit Linked Parts. We go to the little ball and drag the little ball so it is just in the skirt. <coughs> See? Now we go to the general tab and rename it from new prim skirt into full skirt blue or any name of your likings of course. Now I can pick it up in my inventory, here it is, and I need a pose stand that I have ready here. I'm Go to stand on the post stand. There we are. And what I'm going to do, and I showed you this before in the copy and paste tutorial, is I go into edit mode on the current skirt that I'm wearing, go to the object, I say copy the angle and copy the position. Now I go to my new skirt, right click and say attach to and I look for the white skirt that I'm wearing here it is at the pelvis and I say well attach it to the same point I go to edit the new skirt and I say paste the angle and paste the position and there you are it is all of a sudden done in the correct position well, this was the full skirt, but why is this all in a multiple skirt dresser? Well, that is because you've got the freedom now to choose whether you want just the voile skirt. That is fine. There you are. You've got just the, fine, the voile skirt and you can use it as a separate skirt. Click one, select Ctrl L or Command L and there you are. You've got your voile skirt. But you can also say, no, I want a long skirt but and uh, and uh, the the upper skirt, but I don't want the back train. And so, only the long skirt, and now the back train is being made, which takes another cup of coffee before it is ready, of course.
So the multiple skirt dresser gives you the freedom to choose which parts of the skirt you want in your uh, design. And um, that is the reason why it is not done all in one script and one uh, skirt. This way you can easily choose how you would like to have it. I'm going to make another tutorial about the corsage that is used in this uh, in this outfit, the hip corsage. So please check for that other template too. Thank you very much.